As always, we start with our summary, basic reinforcement schedules. We have this idea of a fixed schedule and a variable schedule, and then a ratio schedule and an interval schedule. And how we make basic reinforcement schedules is we combine an aspect of fixed and variable with an aspect of ratio and interval. So if you combine fixed with ratio, you get a set amount of responses, meaning reinforcement is delivered based on an amount of responses that don't change. Fixed interval is based on that amount of time change. A variable ratio is based on an average amount of responses means they're always changing requirement. And then a variable interval is an average amount of time. Time is changing, therefore it is average out. And this is the foundation for our reinforcement schedules. When you're taking your exam, I recommend you breaking it down in this way. So let's continue. Fixed ratio, based on a certain number of responses, it's the probably the most commonly used type of reinforcement system. Fixed ratios are typically used to teach initial behaviors. Reinforcement is delivered contingent on responses. So I respond twice, I get reinforced. I respond twice, I get reinforced. I respond twice, I get reinforced. So on and so forth. What's important here is the number of responses that are required does not change until the schedule changes. Meaning, if you're running a fixed ratio for a schedule, and that schedule never changes for five years. And for five years, we're running a schedule contingent on four responses. Now, of course, responses should change and schedules should change. But making a point, fixed ratios, they don't change. Any sort of fixed ratio schedule is exactly that, fixed. So which of the following represents a fixed ratio? A, every 10, 10 minutes, you tell your son, good job. All right, how are we breaking down our questions? Ratio means responses, based on responses, not time. So if you see a reinforcement schedule based on time, you can eliminate ratio. You know you're looking at an interval schedule. So A cannot be a ratio schedule because it's based on time. B, sometimes my mail comes at 2 p.m. Sometimes it comes at 4 p.m. Now, if my mail sometimes comes at 2 and sometimes at 4, are we based on responses or time? Well, time, because if I check my mailbox 100 times before 2 p.m., I'm still not getting mail. It has nothing to do with my responses. It's all about time. And we're looking at the first response after time. So B, again, based on time, we eliminate it. C, each time the client labels correctly, you give them a response. Good. This is an FR1. That response requirement is steady, never changed, and it's based on responses. So C is the best representation of a fixed ratio. Variable ratio, also known as the slot machine effect. Think about a slot machine and how they, those work. You can pull the handle 100 times. You never know how many times you're going to win, right? Sometimes you can win zero. Sometimes you can win 100 and anywhere in between. Variable ratios work just like fixed ratios, except the number or the response requirement is an average. Reinforcement is delivered contingent on responses. The number of responses required based on an average for example, a variable ratio of three, you might deliver reinforcement, the second response, then maybe the fourth response, and then third response. So if you average those out, two plus four plus three, nine, nine divided by three, you're going to get an average of three. And that's how variable ratios work. A lot of times, variable ratios are just described as a changing number, which is fine, but the technical way to look at it is you take an average number of responses. So you really should be looking to work around that average, in this case, a VR3, an average amount of three responses required for enforcement. So how do variable ratio and fixed ratio schedules differ? Well, for one very clear reason, right? They're both based on a number of responses. The primary difference is the amount of responses constantly changes. So A, one is based on responses and one is based on time. That's not true. Ratio, ratio, they're both responses. B, one is based on a fixed number of responses and one is based on an average. Yes, right? The fixed ratio is on a fixed amount of responses. The variable ratio is on a average amount of responses. C, a fixed ratio is constantly changing and incorrect. D, a variable ratio never changes and incorrect. 
How do variable ratio and fixed ratio schedules differ? Well, of course, B. One is based on a fixed number of responses. One is based on an average. So now we're looking at interval schedules. The only thing that changes is we're going from responses to time. So if we have a fixed ratio schedule, fixed responses, a fixed interval is going to be the same thing, except we're looking at time here. So it's based on a fixed amount of time. Reinforcement is delivered contingent on the first response after a certain amount of time. And that's very important, right? Because we still want to see the target behavior. So if our interval is five minutes, we're going to wait five minutes. And then once we see the behavior happen after the five minutes, we deliver reinforcement. But if it's a fixed interval five, then five minutes is always five minutes, right? That's the key here. The amount of time required for changes. Which of the following represents a fixed interval? A, you tell a client to complete five math problems before break. Why can you eliminate this? It's fixed, right? Yes, but we're based on responses on A. We're looking for an interval schedule, time schedule. B, you tell a client they have to sit in their chair quietly for four minutes. All right. Are we based on time? We are minutes. Is it fixed? It is. Four. So as long as that client is still sitting in their chair after four minutes passes, we're going to reinforce them. C, you sometimes praise your client every two minutes and sometimes every three minutes. Well, this is very obviously what? A variable, right? It's an average. Two plus three, so fixed interval, two and a half minutes. The only one where we have a fixed amount of time is going to be B. And then variable interval, based on a variable amount of time, a changing amount of time, an average amount of time, reinforcement is delivered contingent on the first response after a certain amount of time. Just like the other schedule, except the amount of time required is based on an average. So again, if we have a variable interval two-minute schedule, you might deliver reinforcement after one minute, then after four minutes, then after two minutes, then after three minutes. As long as we're close to that average, that's what we're looking for, right? Variable is average, fix is unchanging. So which of the following represents a variable interval schedule? Well, we're looking for a schedule representing time that is changing. A, reinforcement delivered after five minutes. Is it time? Yes. Is it changing? No, it's fixed. B, reinforcement delivered after two minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Is it time? Yes. Is it changing? Yes. This is how quickly you can start to do basic reinforcement schedules. They're very straightforward once you get a hang of them. C, reinforcement delivered after a response. Is it time? No. Okay. Very simple, right? Which of the following represents a variable interval? It's going to be B, reinforcement delivered after two minutes, then three minutes, then two minutes. Finally, continuous reinforcement versus intermittent reinforcement. Now, continuous reinforcement, everybody's familiar with. Every response is reinforced. We typically use continuous reinforcement when we're teaching a new behavior because we want constant, constant, constant reinforcement coming in, right? So another way to look at continuous reinforcement is an FR1 or a fixed ratio one. You require one response for reinforcement that never changes. You're constantly delivering reinforcement for a single response. Everything else is considered intermittent reinforcement. That's where people get confused. The only continuous reinforcement schedule is an FR1. Because every other schedule is going to change in some way, even in FR2, right? Yes, the responses are fixed, but you're still requiring more than one response. One response. It's not continuous. So all other types of reinforcement schedules are intermittent. It could be anything else. FR2s, VR10s, FI3s, VIs 123s. Doesn't matter. As long as it's not an FR1, as long as it's not continuous, it's intermittent. So wrapping up again, when you're doing these questions, especially in practice, start by breaking them down piece by piece. Fixed or variable, ratio, interval, fixed or average, time or responses. Once you get a hang of it, you're going to go very, very quickly, right? Fixed ratio, set amount of responses. Variable ratio, average amount of responses. Fixed interval, set amount of time. Variable interval, average amount of time. Very straightforward, easy peasy. Don't overcomplicate our basic schedules. Next week, we will cover compound schedules. So be on the lookout for that. And to do that, make sure you subscribe so you always get our notifications.